I'm here with Tish Benoot's bike for Team DSM ahead of the Tour of Flanders. Let's take a closer look. So starting at the front, they've got the brand new Dura-Ace C60 wheels and they're running the Vittoria Corsa tubular tyres in 28 mil wide. Then coming up from the front, we've got the integrated carbon bar and stem from Syncross. I believe it's 120 mil stem with a 40 centimetre bars. He's also got a Wahoo Rome head unit on there. And the frame is a Scott Addict in 58 centimetres. Moving down to the group set, he's got a Shimano Dura-Ace power meter. The cranks are 172.5. And something interesting to note as well with this bike is the mechanics of Team DSN have gone for the Shimano XTR brakes. The reason for this, I'm told, is for lightness. Then moving up to the seat post, we've got a Syncross carbon seat post and the Pro Falcon saddle. Other points to note, they've got the Shimano Dura-Ace pedals. He's running a 39, a 5339 for the gearing. So this is fairly standard for all the Team DSM Classics bikes. So yeah, this has been Tish Benut's bike that he's hoping to ride to victory on Sunday. I'm currently here with Mikael Bjerg's Carnago V3 RS ahead of the Tour of Flanders. So let's have a closer look. So starting at the front of the bike, they're running the Bora WTO carbon wheels. He's got a 45 millimeter at the front and a 60 millimeter at the back. I think a lot of the team riders are running 45 on both, but he's a time trialist, so I reckon that's probably why he's gone for the 60 mil on the back. So the only thing that's really different about this bike compared to their other classic setups is the width of the tires. This time they've gone for 25 millimeter tubeless tires. These are the Vittoria Corsa controls. Basically, the idea is they're trying to reduce punctures. Moving up to the handlebars, he's got the Campagnolo electric super record, very nice, and Adida integrated carbon stem. Looks like they're about 42 centimeters wide. Then coming down to the bottle cages, they've actually made a bit of a tweak here because they've added grip tape. Basically, the moment you hit a cobble section, you're quite at risk of your bottles flying out and maybe taking out a team leader, so you don't want that. And also, if you lose your hydration and your nutrition early on in the race, it could be game over. So having the grip tape in there is just gonna minimize any of those risks. Then moving towards the back, we have the Pro Logo Dimension Saddle and the SRM power meter. He's got the carbon look Kio blade pedals. It's a very nice bike. <laughs>